Hey guys, what's up? Alright, so we're just going to go over this again real quick. Um, as before, this is a Plano box. Um, my tackle box, I'm going to be using this season. Got the all important uh, drink holders, and it's a really nice layout compared to the other one. Um, because I was just using the normal tool box beforehand, or before this. I used that for probably close to, a, oh, five years, six years, seven years, something like that. So you got the, uh, the plates that lay out, or the trays. So we'll go over here and show you what I got. Alright, so right up here is a little flipping jig, a little eighth ounce. And uh, kind of a PB&J looking. That's, uh, I believe a strike king. Uh, we got a couple spinners. And some rooster tails, stuff I use for sunfish. Not really bass. Here we got a, uh, I believe this is a, uh, Berkeley. Flicker Shad. A 12 foot diver. Chartreuse. Now, 12 foot for me is probably on the, uh, the deeper side of things. Shallow for me is floating to three feet. Sorry for being shaky. I'm trying to get this back in the bots here. Uh, moderate is uh, four to ten, and then deep would be anything over ten. So, right here we got a Gander Mountain, uh, sit, not Setsy Shad, but in a Shad color or Shiner color. Uh, lipless crankbait. I really am looking forward to using this one. It's got a nice deep rattle to it. All right here we got a Rapala. Uh, jointed jerk bait, floating jerk bait. Goes between zero and I don't know about a foot. So it's pretty shallow diving jerk bait. I've had probably a dozen of these jointed Rapalas or floating Rapalas over my life. And uh, they catch fish. They are one of my favorite lures to throw. I, the other one I used to have, or the other ones I used to have, I used to always, every season, get one of these in Fire Tiger, which is actually this color right here. And it would nail pickerel. So, see how this does with bass. This is in a uh, perch color. Right here we got another perch color. This is a... Uh, I believe a 10 foot diving, 10 and 12 foot diving crankbait out of Berkeley. I believe it's Berkeley. Alright, there it says 8.5 feet. Depending on the line you're using, speed, and all sorts of different things. So probably 8 to, eight to 10 foot, I'd say. Nice colors. It's kind of a mix between a perch and a, a baby bass color something like that. You got some chartreuse, you got the perch stripes. And right here you got a golden shiner from Rapala. This is a lipless crankbait. You got a nice little shallow square bill, three foot diver and fire tiger or hot tiger. Down here you got a Gander Mountain uh, square bill and red crawl. Over here you got a Booyah um, buzz bait quarter ounce. Right here we got a half ounce football jig and green pumpkin. We've got a perch swim bait. Not much of a swim bait guy, but I have one. Come on. Back in there. Over here. Uh, we got some poppers. Love poppers. Got a little Rapala trout color jerk bait. A little spinner. Uh, some little miniature grubs. Right here is kind of like my trailer. Got some uh, craws. 
I ripped in half and used these as trailers for the jigs and spinner baits and such. Some swivels. Got some uh, already rigged up. Uh, oh, what are these things called? These are the um, four inch uh, ribbon tail grubs. I'll show you my soft plastics in a minute. But I got a chartreuse one already rigged up. And I got a white one here rigged up already as well. Uh, right here we got the Arbor Ghost um, Buzz Plug, Buzz Bait, double hook on the back. This is in the rat color, white bottom, red eyes. Never tried one of these before, figured I'd give it a shot. I uh, got some 30 pound steel leaders for pike. Got a KVD Setsy Frog. An albino. That should be great bait. Down here got another spinner bait. Alright, got a Colorado blade and a willow blade. Red hook, black color. Let's see how that does. That's a I think I believe quarter ounce. Down here we got some teardrop and bullet sinkers these are um, steel so the uh, bullet sinkers here I use for my rigs so from your Texas Reagan and Carolina Reagan and your uh, swivel teardrop sinkers I use for uh, catfishing so for bullhead and stuff I actually want to sit at the bottom so that's where I got some bobbers uh, we'll get some of these uh, 20 year old pair of snips out of the way here. We'll open this little brown box up here. We'll throw that. Uh, let's go right here with it. I've had this box for a long time. Alright, so we got a stringer, some jig heads, some hooks, got some uh, wide gap, some weighted hooks, and some regular. Three out hooks. And right here we got finesse worms. Finesse ribbon tails. I got some black and brown in there. I got some green pumpkin and some red over here. So that's what I got in there. Next. Oh. We got right here. Some yum. These are the craws I use. Need to get a new pack of these. Um, these are the Yum. I don't know what the hell they're called. Basically, they're uh, Yum's version of a crawl. Uh, the bottom is green pumpkin. The blue is black, or the the top is black with blue flake. And these work quite well, whether your Tets is rigging it or trailering it, because they do make really nice trailers. Um, down here we also have a bunch of hooks, different sizes, everything from one knot to size fours. Um, yeah, I'm not going to go too in depth, but if you're using worms or live bait, that's what I use here. Okie dokie, and now we got the grubs. These are the uh, zoom. Uh, Four-inch tails. Um, got the white and the chartreuse. Uh, right here we got some uh, green pumpkin, red flake lizards from Yum. And I get a lot of my creature baits at Walmart from the clearance bots because they're only about two bots a bag. And you go through those plastics pretty quickly if you're a fisherman, so. And then lastly, I got some Sankos. And these are uh, green pumpkin with a uh, chartreuse tail. So, see how these work. I got a really good feeling about this year. So, wish me luck, guys.